In this video, I solve a numerical question with the help of simple random sampling. In this question, we draw simple random samples by using random number table and then check the population mean and sample, uh, sample mean. Is it, is it equal? But if you are new on my channel, Statisticians Club, please subscribe the channel. Now let's start. Here is the question. The following frequency distribution gives the age of a population of 100 college students. Here is the age, 14 age, 6 students, 15 age, 61 students, so on, at 20 age, 4 students. So total number of students are 1000. Using random number table, select a simple random sample of 20 students. So our first task is by using random number table, we select 20 students and then find sample mean and compare it with population mean. So first of all, we solve how to select 20 students at random from this population. Step first, at first step, first of all, we assign a number to each of 1000 students from the range 0 to 999. Six students corresponding to first class are assigned numbers. We assign numbers 0, 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 002, so on 0, 0, 005. Here is the six students. We assign numbers from 0 to 5. Step 3. The next class is 61. So we assign numbers from 6 to 6, 6, inclusive and so forth. Here is the table, age 14, 15, so on 20, number of students 6, 61, 2, 7, 0 and so on 4. Assign numbers 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 6, 2, 0, 6, 6, 0, 6, 7, 2, 3, 3, 6 and similarly. We assign numbers to all units up to 999. And then we consult a table of random numbers to select a random sample of 20 students between digits 0, 0 to 999. So use, we use three digit random number because our maximum number is 999. So we we use three digit random number table. So after using, you can use three digit random number table. First number is 537, 633, 353 and so on. Write all numbers below 999. If any number in random number table above then triple nine, like 101055. So you cannot select this number because this number is out of range. So you select only those number which is less than triple nine. So we select 20 numbers. And our next task is where this number lie? 537. 537 lie in this group 17. 633. This is also lie in group 17. 353, this is also lie in 17. 634, this is also in this group 17. 982, 982, this is in this group 19. 026, this is in this group 15. And you can write all these numbers where they lie in this group. So here is the sample 17, 17, 17, 9, 15 and so on. You write all numbers where they lie. And here we make, so our first task is solve here. We select 20 samples with respect to simple random sampling by using random number table. And our next question is we check sample mean with population means. So this is our sample. So, to calculate its mean, we first made its frequency distribution of sample data, age 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19. These are numbers and write here its frequency 15 and 16, 17. Counting the, these numbers, 17 write here a, is 11 time, 18 write this number for three times. and then multiply age with frequency 15 multiply by 3 45 16 multiply by 2 32 and so on so we calculate first sample mean x bar summation f of uh, summation fi xi over n fi xi 337 over n 20 so here is the answer 16.85 sample mean here is the population mean mu is equal to summation fi xi over capital n so this is the population mean frequency this is the frequency number of students fi we show uh, fi is the uh, um, number of students and x is this number 14 multiplied by 6 84 15 multiplied by 61915 so sum of fi uh, fi xi is 16785 so right here this number and divided by the total number of population 1000 here is the 16.78 so as you see your sample mean is near about to the population mean it means simple random sampling by using number random number table works if you want to see videos on simple random sampling with replacement a question solved with simple random sampling and without simple random sampling numerical uh, numerical question solved and then if you want to see objective video on on sampling method then click the link in front of your screen thanks for watching